Yeah, I'm with Sam Cross. Just tell me about the pretty much the excitement of your career. Like I said, you're 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 young as a as in the boxing experience. Pro, yeah. You know, but you're you're not young as as a person. You know no, what I'm saying? No, no. Um, I'm actually pretty old to be just starting out my career, but you know, I don't I don't let that I don't look at it as holding me back. I look more so at guys who have done it at my age. With you know, I've only had probably 35 amateur fights. Let the people know how old you are. Dude. I'm 29. 29. Yeah. So um. And you and also you know. You've been getting experience with getting commercials. You know, a guy with two fights. Yeah. How, does, how does that feel? Uh, it's, it's been crazy, and it's helped a lot. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this is a business. This is entertainment, and, you know, marketability is very important. And, you know, I I hit the I got lucky with all the stuff that happened with me, with the commercial and stuff. So, yeah. you know, I hit the jackpot. I couldn't and ask for anything more. Speaking of hitting the jackpot, <laughs> you got the D.C. lottery yeah. right here. So, you know, going in... Going into this fight coming up, you know, and like I said, the, being a young experience, young, you know, having young, you know, yeah, limited you know, least experience, experience yeah. leaving limited experience. How do you take going into this fight, and what kind of fighter, or actually, what kind of fights are you planning on taking since you're kind of old as as a professional fighter? Oh, uh, I mean, we're gonna take the right fights, and and everything's obviously a learning experience. Like my last fight, I um. I was really unhappy with my performance. I was real sick. I was in the hospital like four days before the fight. Oh, okay. And so, you know, I sucked it up and I was pissed off. I got the win, but I was still mad about it. Mm -hmm. So, but it's still a learning experience. I gutted it out and did what I had to do. So, you know, you know, I, I remember Mike used to always tell me he had this buddy that wanted to fight. <laughs> You know, but he has, it's hard for him to burn weight because his muscle mass. Yeah, yeah. But now you're actually into it. Yeah. And, exactly. and how does it feel to, like, to, to make that transition? That's great, man. Like, uh, and it's something, too, that I'm not going to regret not doing when I get older. Or yeah. it's, you know, sitting around saying what I could have done. And, you know, we're actually making it happen. Whatever happens in my career, I won't be, I won't be regretting not taking the chance of doing it. Coming into this career, did you give yourself a time limit? Like, if it doesn't happen by the time I'm 32, 33, if I'm not where it would take me to the next level, um, I'm going to give it up? Yeah, in a way, but um, I think we're going to take it. Uh, you never know what could happen. So we're going to take it. You're going to ride it long exactly, as you can ride it. Exactly. And if, I, if I'm not passionate, if one day I wake up and I'm not passionate about it, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to be a vegetable growing up. You know, yeah. you, you don't. You, you don't play in this sport, so, yeah. you know, I speaking, love doing it. Yeah, so. speaking on that, you know, since you just started, you had the opportunity to actually watch what's been going on with fighting with the concussions and the, yeah, the, yeah. the head, you know, brain damages. Mm -hmm. Has that, have you also thought about that? Yeah, of course, I always think about that, but, um, you know, if I feel like that's a problem, I'm going to obviously be safe and care more about my health than, say, a payday, or, you know, I'm also working towards something to do after boxing like career so yeah. speaking you know, of career what were you doing before you um, boxed actually I still have two jobs I work at a um, car dealership apprenticing as a mechanic and okay. I also work at a bar bartender oh so. okay so you have a lot going on yeah. you know but where do you find the time especially when you say being a bartender you make time man yeah the, you have to it's you know it's not an option to not go to the gym it's yeah. just something you have to do let's talk about that that the commercial it was uh the plumbing commercial, yeah, Michael Michael's, and Sons Michael plumbing. And Sons. How did that come about? So, the commercial company con that was doing it contacted uh, Ross Molovinsky, the local uh -huh. promoter, yep, definitely. and gave him a list of uh, fighters. And I was very close to. They used Mike Tyson's actual son. Okay. And I'm very close in size with him. Okay. They were looking for guys with experience. Um, and so I, I just got lucky. I mean, honestly. I yeah, because you said they were looking for guys with experience, <laughs> yeah. and you had like two fights. Yeah, so exactly. It, so, you, like you said, it's, it's good that it worked yeah. out for you. So, I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better. That that really helped out a lot too. Yeah, it, even after this fight coming forward, what what kind of fighter? Well, actually, what kind of fight did they put you in? Uh, with this fight coming yeah, up, yeah. Uh, the guy I'm fighting is a tall, left-handed guy. Okay. And also, it, actually, conveniently, I've been working with. It was all I could work with. Was nothing but left-handers. Oh, okay. So okay. I was sparring Thomas Williams, who just got that big knockout yeah. last week, and um, so it worked out. So uh, you, you're fighting with in the light lightweight division? Oh, uh, we're gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be technically cruiserweight, but we're working okay. our way down to light heavyweight. So now, you know, we're speaking on weight. How how is it hard for you now to make weight because you you're a, you're a lean, muscular guy, right? But you're not small, right? You, you're a lot yeah, of muscle mass. I know it's uh, no, it's not hard. It's just 
I didn't really cut any weight in the amateurs because, mm -hmm. you know, you weigh in a few hours before the fight. Yeah. So it's just different for me. And plus, playing football always came up, you know, lifting weights and, you know, trying to get bigger and stuff. So it's just um, – it's just different. Okay. But it's Thanks. not hard. Thanks, Sam. I enjoyed your time. Thank you very much, Chris.